Now you can see by the smile on my face, I am very enthusiastic about this next little chat. Over the past few years, we've become a lot more accustomed to getting important things done remotely. We've had to, largely thanks to technology. We have taken a quantum leap forward in what we can achieve. More people are working from home and we have access to speedy delivery services. Great, nice to have. And um, that will drop off our groceries at the top, uh, literally at the tap of a phone. But also growing exponentially is online schooling. The opportunity to learn and learn in real time. Now, a leader in this space is the COA Academy, which offers a grade four all the way up to an IEB accredited matric certificate. Boy, how the landscape has changed. How do they do it? Well, we're going to find out right now from the principal, Mark Anderson. Uh, brimming with pride, as you should be, buddy. Thanks, Graham. Really uh, am. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a crazy time. I, mm. I think maybe we can oversimplify this because I think a lot of parents have had to go through this. I'm going through it. My kids are young. Will they be schools, sure. traditional models of schools? And I've gone for a very traditional model, not necessarily for the schooling, but for all the other stuff. When yes. it comes to learning, it's a different landscape right now. So how would you describe your learning platform? Yeah, great question, Graham. I think, you know, one of the things that I'm excited about now at the moment is parents like us have more options than we've ever had before when it comes to how we school our kids. We've said for ages that we know that our current traditional model of education is outdated. And what I'm excited about in the online space in particular is we're seeing a lot of constraints falling away yeah. and we're seeing a lot of benefits popping up. A lot of up. economic constraints falling Yes, away. economic, political, geographical, you know, the way that we staff, the way that we do our teaching and learning. And so what we're seeing at, at COA, which we're really excited about in the online space, is more options for parents to be able to leverage the benefits of being online. Um, and we're talking about things like greater flexibility, um, more individualization. You know, at COA, we're able to give every learner an individualized Focus timetable. Them, yeah. um, you know, better access to real world opportunities. Um, so we're really excited about what's happening in the online space. That almost feels like a, a, a mentorship hookup more than a learning platform, if that makes any sense, because you're connecting to real people on an individual basis. Sure. Not every child is going to be suited for every kind of learning situation. Yes. It differs, and, and uh, every child will have seasons of their life as well, which is like us, where you shift and you Absolutely. change. What student are you perfectly primed for, or what student yeah. is primed for you? Yeah, really good question, Graham. I think what you know when we look at the history of education, something like online schooling was maybe originally seen as an option for the outliers, and what we're seeing in recent years is actually. You know, online schooling was born out of a, a subset of homeschooling. Yeah. Where traditional homeschooling, we think of the parent as the teacher, right? I have to teach my child. But in online schooling... Please, God, on no. yeah. Please God, <laughs> Not no. math. Yeah. Please, not math. Anything but math. <laughs> but what we're seeing in online schooling is that the online school takes responsibility for the teaching and learning, just like a traditional physical school. And so the parent is able to leverage that while accessing the benefits of being online. Oh, um, and so when, when we look at the type of child that it suits, it's not just the outliers. You know, more than 60% of our learners have actually joined us from traditional physical schools and are thriving because it really suits a range of families and, and different types of learners. Well, you can cherry pick in a way that I don't think a normal school system allows or has the freedom to be able to. Let's, let's put it that way. Sure. Let's empower the parents like me. What questions do I need to be asking? How do yeah. I kind of work out the best way to plug my learner into this place? Yeah, Graham, not, not all physical schools are the same. Yeah. Even more so, not all online schools are the same. There's such a range of online schools. So it's important for parents to ask questions. I like to put the questions into three categories. I call them the three A's. So we talk about accreditation, we talk about approach, and we talk about access. Okay. So accreditation is who are you registered with? Are your teachers qualified? Um, what was your pass mark last year? You know, if your online school isn't open and transparent about their matric sure. pass mark, that's a red flag for me. Um, then we talk about approach. What does a typical day look like? How many learners are in a class? You know, if my child's sitting in a maths live sure. lesson, how many other kids are in that session? And then we talk about the final one, which is access. Can I pick up the phone and talk to my child's teacher? Uh -huh. Can I ask them questions about Connection, my child? Yeah. If my child's stuck, can they get the help that they need when they need it? Those are really important things. And they will speak to trust as well, which is, yeah. a, is a vitally important element because you're going to be in it for the long haul. Yeah. You really are working together. You mentioned the question, what does a, a day in the life look like? So, so how does this all come together? What does a day in the life look like when it comes to extracurricular and learning? How does it all to come, come together in your space? At, at COA, how, how long do we have, Grant? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, what, what I love about COA is, is that we've really been able to design something specifically for the online space. 
Um, Co Academy is, is accredited with the IEB, the Independent Examinations Board, to offer up to grade 12, the matric certificate. Probably what makes us most unique in the online space is that we do our learning in what we call pods. Okay. That's small classes of only eight. So we're, you know, economically scale says let's pack as many into for the space sure. as possible. For us, we said, well, one of the greatest challenges of online learning is what we call engagement. People connecting to people and having those meaningful the connections. Two way flow of yeah. communication for sure. So if yeah. you can imagine eight people on a screen, everyone can be seen, everyone can be heard, cameras it's on, like mics a on. Matrix. Yeah, it for is. Sure. And yeah. so for us, that's highly engaging, highly accountable. So we love our pods of eight where our learners are meaningfully engaging with each other and their teacher. Um, I absolutely love it. We're going to keep your connection on all of our platforms so that people who want to ask these questions can find out more. I love the fact that for every child, there is a place in the world right now. And for mm. very long, that wasn't the case. From a socioeconomic platform um, standpoint, really, South Africa's needed to adjust the balance, and online is providing such a major, major key. So thank you so much for being a part of that. You look too young to be a principal, man. <laughs> too, too I'll young to it, be a Graham. principal. I'll take yeah. it, Take ownership of that. To so all the parents that are looking for for a different way of letting their child be empowered for the world as it is now and the world that it's becoming, this is definitely the jumping off point. Go and check it out.